Now, residents in the remote Northern Territory town of Tennant Creek are concerned their children have been exposed to asbestos and they want governments to carry out health checks. Well, for years, children were unknowingly playing in a vandalised building containing asbestos, purchased by the town's largest Aboriginal corporation with Commonwealth money. After a three-year investigation, the federal government has finally moved against the corporation and put it into administration. But that's cold comfort for residents facing an uncertain future. On the edge of Tennant Creek, residents are afraid their children may have been exposed to asbestos on the site of an unfinished building that's been vandalised. Because the, um, the structure was all smashed up into tiny bits, as you can see those bits on the ground, kids were playing in here for months and months, using it as a cubby house. It was bought by the Jalalakari Council Indigenous Corporation eight years ago with part of a $1.2 million federal government grant for community centres and housing. Residents want answers about why the government didn't ensure Jalalakari put the building into use. We'd like for them to come and talk to us. What's the, you know, what's all the dangers are for us and for the, especially for the kids that that were playing in those buildings. They want their children tested. To give them a check or some check up. The same demountable buildings sit unused on six other Tennant Creek sites. The asbestos was revealed in November when residents carried out their own tests. The Territory Government's WorkSafe Authority only confirmed it this month after more tests by the Asbestos Disease Support Society. I personally was disappointed in WorkSafe, and I'll say that, because I, um, I thought their response was tardy. Jalalakari has released a statement saying when the units were imported, the importer assured the corporation that they didn't contain asbestos. The corporation says now its own tests have confirmed asbestos. It's working with NT WorkSafe to put in a series of risk control measures to protect the public and workers, including fencing off all the units. The buildings were imported from China for Jalalakari by former AFL player Neville Roberts' company, Rene. They're uh, staff houses and, and houses for transitional uh, children and, and transitional Indigenous travelling around. Neville Roberts, who played for Richmond in the 1970s, now doesn't want to comment on the asbestos. Asbestos imports were banned in 2003. The Immigration Department hasn't explained why it allowed the buildings into Australia, but says it's further scrutinising the importer. It's definitely a, a massive failure on behalf of Border Force and uh, you know, obviously the government of the day and the ministers of the day because it's just uh, it shouldn't be coming in. Federal and Territory government agencies have been investigating Jalalakari's delivery of the demountables, remote jobs and aged care services for three years amid community criticism. People are disappointed that government don't seem to react to what is a large community concern and has been a community concern for years. The Federal Indigenous Corporation's watchdog, Oric has now taken action against Jalalakari, putting it into administration for six months. Oric said the corporation's ability to respond to governance and operational matters had been compromised by community disputes. Jalalakari has hit back, saying it provided Oric with a comprehensive response that addressed all of its concerns and made a compelling case against the need to appoint a special administrator. Jalalakari's response rejects findings of remote job program failures and understaffing as now rectified. I don't blame any one particular body of government. I think the whole lot of them should have um, got off their backsides and done something a hell of a lot earlier than this. It's too late to make much difference to residents who can now only wait to see whether they'll suffer from asbestos exposure. Jane Barton, ABC News, Tennant Creek.